everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about how much do you really need to, like in terms of tools and workshop and wood and all that to really start a woodworking business. And it actually isn't as much as you guys think. First off, let's talk about the tools. There are so many tools out there real expensive ones some that and some that are like kind of real specialty really s stuff that can really help you make premium products but to get started you do not need very much at all maybe a saw a drill a tape measure a pencil those are your your key starting items and you can make good stuff with just that to all I started with was a table saw, a miter saw, and just some scrap wood line, scrap wood lying around, and a drill and some screws. That's all I basically had. I did not put any money into it, uh, maybe twenty dollars to get my first product out there that I sold for two fifty. But yeah, that's all you need. And this is, this is what you guys need to maybe think about is you do not need the fancy tools such as the joiner, the planer, bandsaw, a dovetail maker, a pocket hole jig. You don't need that stuff right away. And so you shouldn't be just waiting, saving up, saving up, saving up just to buy all these fancy tools that some of them you might use barely any times. And then you have so much invested in, and now you got to make all this money back from the woodworking business as uh, just to break even, but rather just you try to use what you have when it comes in terms of tools. Next, now we're going to dis discuss materials. You do not need to start with hardwoods, you can create really good woodworking projects just by using two by fours and two by sixes and one by fours just from the store that may be spruce and stuff like that stuff that's cheap and available you can make great furniture using that as long as you just use kind of the resources available or maybe go into cheaper woods like poplar poplar poplar's a little bit softer but poplar has great great um, uh, gr just great grains and really nice looking grains but you just need to uh, which is perfectly fine to start with and as long as you put a nice finish on it and finish it correctly it will it will be a great kind of uh, resalvaged piece and great creation for a low cost too. Or even think about when getting materials, think about maybe milling it yourself or finding ways to get pieces of wood for free, it, but just you putting in a bit more time and labor for that so that's all I wanted to say for that and then next finally we're going to be talking about the space you worked you work in well having a nice nice workshop is really ideal you can start really small you can start just in a little corner of your garage or a shed or just even outside Outside is perfectly fine to work in. You don't need a whole bunch of heat. Just maybe try in the summer, fall, spring. You're at least good outside for those times of year. Just to start building some stuff. As long as you have a place to work. And maybe you need power. Like an extension cord. Like we're outside is perfectly great. So in you don't need much for space. Not as much as you guys think you need it. Just try to start small. In conclusion, um, 
You don't need much to start a woodworking business, as you can see. You just need to have a bit of passion, creativity, and basic tools, and some materials, and uh, even just the outdoors, just to work. That's how you begin your woodworking journey. It's just simple and with basic, basic uh, materials and tools. Through that, then you can go into the higher levels. But it's not as much as you guys think. The biggest thing is you just need to be having the willingness and effort to try to make do with what you guys have. And I'm sure you can create a good business. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.